So I'm here with Matthew Bergevin. He is a part of Baseball Northwest, uh, the team that's at the Arizona Fall Classic uh, here in Phoenix, Arizona. And, and Matthew, last night you got to play in the all-academic game. And So what's it kind of mean for you to not only qualify for that, but also to get a chance to, to play in the uh, the Peoria Stadium, which was pretty nice? Oh, it, was a, it was a really cool experience to be around so many really, really good players um, from all around the world. Um, you know, our starting pitchers from Australia. So it really felt good to know that the work in the classroom and on the field were, um, were able to kind of come together and give me that really Really cool experience. I felt really honored to be in it. It was a really good, ex- uh, a really good experience. Yeah. Yeah. And for people who don't know, for that game, you had to have a, a certain GPA, really show that you were academically, you know, skilled as well as being skilled on the on the field. Um, so that's got to be kind of nice and rewarding to see that you know where you work both ends. You know, it's still um, you get rewarded for that. Yeah. No. It's funny. You know, every kid asks, well, why are we going to use this? Where is it going to, you know, that, where is it going to be? You know, for the future, how am I going to use it? So that was cool to know that some of those math classes, I really didn't understand why I took them. Now I, I know, so the GPA was good. So I was just lucky to be there. And it was a really, really cool experience just the whole night. Yeah, and so here at the uh, the Arizona Fall Classic, it is a an exhibition type of tournament where players like yourself kind of show off to the scouts. And I think that there's quite a few scouts, probably a couple hundred, you know, actually four to five hundred at least that I've seen. Um, so what is kind of your goals here for this weekend while you're, uh, while you're playing? Well, actually, so I just committed to Concordia Portland. And, and you know, just now that knowing that I'm, I know where I'm going to go to school now, it's about you know competing against other good players, um, you know, learning um, kind of their way of how they wanted me to take at bats, and just working on little things, you know, with load or with what pitch I'm trying to, you know, attack. And with really good competition, it's really easy to do that. So this weekend's going to be really good for me just to see that high level competition and really work at it and try to improve every day. So. Yeah, Concordia has Jared Aiken, who uh, interviewed him a few times for the website, and he's a, a horse for, on the mound. Um, but, you know, here you're going into your, your senior year of high school. Uh, so what things are you hoping to accomplish you know, now that you are committed? Uh, what are some of these things you want to focus on and really kind of improve upon you know, in your final year of high school? Well, for our team, um, I'm our captain for our, our baseball team this year, and I really want to focus on that aspect of being a better leader, um, just a better person to all the guys, um, You know, just understanding that there's more to it than just playing the game. You have to be with your teammates. You have to understand what they need, what they want. And not only that, but just the mental part of approach, taking each each rep, each swing, everything that you do very seriously because it all means something. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that this year. I think I have a lot of opportunity to do that. And, you know, for a player to get recruited by colleges, it's not by luck. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, but it also takes people to kind of motivate you and inspire you to do your best. Who have been those people in your life to really get you uh, to be your best um, in all aspects, both in the classroom and on the field? Well, obviously, it starts with mom and dad, you know, um, waking me up early, uh, just making sure I'm on top of things. They are incredible with what they do and, and just making sure that I'm where I need to be. But just beyond that, there's two people that I really want to thank. Um, Frank Escobedo. Um, Frank has been training me for a while, and he's really opened my eyes to new things with my swing and just kind of approach. And then Justin Gabriel. Um, Justin and I go back, and I really, really thank him. He's been wonderful just in my development as a person, as a player. He's just a great guy, and I think those four people especially have helped me to become the player I am, and hopefully will continue to do so as I move forward. And I'm really grateful for them to be in my life. It's a really good opportunity, really. Awesome, awesome. And then, you know, for a lot of kids that are growing up, you know, obviously they watch baseball and uh, is there a major league player you've kind of latched on to and either just because you like to watch them or because you kind of like their their style and their attitude well when I was uh, when Mike Trout first came up I got liking to him a lot because I had a buzz cut and I was a big guy so I like Trout a little bit but the guy I love is Jamison Tyone for the Pirates just a grinder competitor has gone through cancer battled back and just comes out and shoves every fifth day I love that guy um, just a really good teammate just a really good person and I feel like I have to model my myself after him to get the results I want. And last question I have for you, uh, you know, once again, you, you've come a long way to, to be recruited for college. Um, what advice would you have for younger kids who are hoping to maybe follow in that same type of path to, to play college ball? You know, what is, the, what is the thing they need to work on or focus on the most? You know, you can have a perfect swing, you can have perfect mechanics, but it's all with the mental stuff. You know, it's understanding that you're going to fail, it's understanding that bad things will happen, it's understanding that I'm going to mess up a lot, and it's just understanding that down the road, as these mess ups happen, you'll learn, you'll get Get better you'll grow you know you don't see it when you're 13 years old because it just seems too big but all of a sudden when you're 16 17
seventh swing, you'll be like, man, that one time I messed up, it comes back because now I'm better. Now I know how to handle this situation. So just stay tough. There's a lot of adversity. Work on your mental game. Everything else will fall into place if you have a strong, uh, strong head up top. So awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.